no and all of these people Lizzie Dearden one of the people who runs a story she runs a story about me saying how I could have jeopardised this trial in the court transcripts for my trial which I've got which I'll be producing as evidence on Tuesday in the court transcripts Lizzie Dearden the same journalist writing the hit piece on me now is named as breaching two reporting restrictions for the same case the same weekend the only difference is Lizzie Dearden is very politically correct won't mention the at all the cause of this or the reason in why these men have these misogynistic and sexist views nothing of course to do with their religious beliefs nothing at all Lizzie Dearden won't mention any of this so Lizzie Dearden gets away with it she doesn't get hauled behind before the courts or, or put in prison because I'll tell you why because Lizzie Dearden unfortunately for you Lizzie only a maximum of about 30,000 people read your news the independent I think your maximum readership is 50,000 so, of course, the government don't give a shit about you when you report all of their little toxic thing. The difference is, when I do a live stream, like this one, it will end up going to hundreds of thousands, if not eventually, millions of people. Which is why they want to shut me down, not you. They're not bothered about you, you play the mainstream line. You play the line that, oh, whatever, this could be anyone, and it's, there's no problem here, it's got nothing to do with Islam, it's nothing to do with them. Whereas the reality is very different. The British public are waking up to that, thanks to our own platforms.